The Midland Railway's main line from Bristol to Birmingham is famous in railway circles for the severe gradient it encounters as it passes over the Licky Hills, just south of the Midland city. The top of the climb is at Blackwell, where we join some loco spotters as they view two British Railway Standard Class 5460s, the second coming up the bank with a Standard Class 9F at the back. The top of the climb is immediately to the south of the platforms, where a Stanier Class 5 shows the extent of its severity. On the back of this train is a Western Region Class 4200 280 tank, number 5226, which dates these sequences after May 1958. The Midland Main Line had been placed in the Western Region after nationalisation in 1948. The Licky Bank starts at Bromsgrove Station and from the platform can be seen the foot of the bank. Banking engines would come down the bank light engine frequently in convoy, especially when the line was busy. They were stabled in sidings to the west of the line. Alongside the big 280 can be seen a Hawksworth pannier tank. These became the standard bankers under the Great Western regime, the 4200 only lasting a short while. Banking engines were classified on a special system based on the power of an LMS Jinty tank, the forebears to the panniers. The 280 was equal one and a half, in other words, equivalent to one and a half Jinties. The panniers were equal one and the BR9F equal two. So the one and a half tank didn't fit neatly into the system. The most famous Licky Banker was Big Bertha, a unique Midland Railway 010, which had been scrapped and replaced in 1956 by a BR Standard Class 9F 210. This engine inherited Big Bertha's powerful headlamp for buffering up at night. This train has equals three banking power. The old order is seen here as two of the Jinties are passed by an LMS Class 2P 440 and one of the infrequent local passenger trains calling at Bromsgrove. These varied the pattern by having the bankers buffering up in the platform, as all other trains stopped outside the station. Even a four-coach train needed a banker, as the gradient was 1 in 37.7 for a distance of two miles. Another 2P climbs the bank with a gas wagon at the back. These wagons were used to deliver gas to railway stations before the national distribution system was installed. On the footplate of the banker, we see the procedure at the top of the bank as the train accelerates away from our Jinty. Banking engines didn't couple up for obvious reasons. The signal box gave a panoramic view of trains coming over the summit, and Pat Whitehouse's family enjoyed the sights here, at a station only a few miles from their home in Birmingham. All the railway roundabout programmes were produced at the BBC's Gloucester Green Studio in Birmingham, after editing by Pat and John Adams. Both live nearby, and still do, 
so they were able to go into the studio to provide the commentary, which was given live after one rehearsal. Any fluffs had to be covered up at the time.